photos for my website? Can't you just pull from stock or something? Hey guys, Pat at madebypat.com and welcome to my new vlog on design. I'm gonna be talking about web design, app design, UI, UX, and give you some tips from my 20 years of experience as a designer. So first, let's talk about website photography do's and don'ts. I'm gonna tell you about those essential shots that you can request to your photographer to get those perfect photos for your website. Some stock photos that should honestly probably always be avoided, some free stock photo resources, and where to find those specific, the location specific hard to find stock photos and paid stock websites. Let's go. Just before getting your website designed or redesigned, having a professional photo shoot done is a must. Sure, designers can find great stock photography, but it is always better when you can tell your own personal story through those photos on your website. So let's look at some essential shots that I would recommend to your photographer. Number one, office shots. Employees working are always great for homepage background, hero areas, um, and things like that. Not necessarily the ones where I'm looking at a computer and so are you, those are a little bit cheesy. So let's look at something a little bit more creative for those. Um, some individual team shots for that about page. Once again, maybe not those cheesy looking straight at the, the camera smiling. Maybe uh, give the designer those, but also an option to do something a little bit more creative there as well. Interior and exterior building shots are always great for that contact page and uh, just backgrounds throughout the site. Product photos, if you're selling some sort of product that's gonna be obvious, we wanna get those isolated product shots as well as people using your product and your product in different scenes as well. Lastly, those abstract and artistic shots are always great to have in the designer's arsenal for different backgrounds throughout the sites to kind of make it even that more custom instead of pulling those from stock areas. So uh, lastly, I wanna talk about video, but I'm gonna leave that to a whole separate blog article altogether. Stock photo don'ts. Once again, before you go stock, please always consider getting a professional photographer to come out and take photos for your brand. I do understand that sometimes you need to pull from stock for things like blog articles. So here are just a few of the stock photos that I think should be avoided. Number one, group smiles. You've all seen these, arms folded, everyone looking at the camera. It's not professional, it's cheesy. Let's get rid of those. Same with handshakes. I think this is the number one culprit. You see these everywhere to represent meetings, partnerships. Let's get rid of handshakes altogether. Headsets, uh, you still see these used for support and contact. Let's, I don't think anybody uses those headsets anymore. Let's get rid of those. These next three, I predominantly see used in things like blog articles. First, we have a vector globe. Let's get rid of all the globe and bad vector thumbnails. Same thing with word clusters and signs. Now, let me know if you disagree with any of these in the comments or if you have an example of maybe one of these stock photos that actually does look good, let me know. Um, and also, please be sure to subscribe because I might be doing more of these in the future because there are a lot of bad stock photos out there. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these. Free stock photos. My favorite resource by far for free stock photography is unsplash.com and that's what I use for all of the essential photo examples. Unsplash has a huge collection of beautiful modern stock photography that you can use for anything. I challenge you to find one on there that looks cheesy or not modern because I have yet to find one. It is just about the only stock resource I ever need. It is awesome. The next one is Death to Stock. They will send out monthly photos for free, but they also have a subscription service that you can pay for. Quality is very similar to Unsplash. 
The next one I actually found while I was researching for this blog article, it's called Burst. So I'm gonna have to check that one out a little more as well as Pick Jumbo. I just found that one as well. So check those out, great free stock photos. So what do you do when you can't find that photo that you're looking for on a free stock photo website or a paid stock photo website? What I usually do is go over to Flickr, Creative Commons, and make sure to check that it's okay for commercial use, and you can find just about anything there. The thing is that it's not always professional quality, so you might have to bring it into your favorite photo editing app and tweak it up a little bit, but this was especially a great resource for me when I'm looking for, say, a specific location in Indiana. It also helped me out a lot when I needed an action shot of some high school football players uh, for a football app that I was working on. So great resource for those hard to find photos. With paid stock websites, you can find some really great photos. You just need to learn to spot the ones that are cheesy and overused. And I'd almost like to say that this is a last resort situation because generally I can find something for free that's even better on unsplash.com. But with that said, Shutterstock.com is the one that I normally use for paid stock photos. And they won't break the bank either and they have a huge collection. Uh, same thing with iStock. I used to use iStock until Shutterstock came along. And iStock is now owned by Getty Images. And uh, another great resource to check out is Adobe Stock. In conclusion, always, always get a professional to come out and do a photo shoot for your company because that is going to build trust in your brand. And when using stock photography, try to find the ones that are not cheesy and overused. Um, also, all the links to everything that I've talked about will be in the comments and on my website, madebypat.com. And please be sure to subscribe on your way out and thank you so much for watching.